Welcome back to Dress Scribble for an unboxing of my first ever Estherbrook fountain pen. I am really excited for this unboxing. I have wanted an Estherbrook fountain pen for a really long time, but I wanted two things in my Estherbrook fountain pen. I wanted to be able to get one that had their journaler nib, which is one of their custom ground nibs. And I also wanted the pen itself to be one that was special and really spoke to me. I wanted to see it and immediately know that that was the pen that I wanted to buy as my first ever Estherbrook. And on May 12th, they launched their fourth pen in their Sparkle series. This pen was called Cosmic Wine. And the moment that I saw pictures, I knew it was the one. I was going to get the Cosmic Wine Estherbrook as my first ever Estherbrook. So I ordered it from Anderson Pens. I love Anderson Pens. It is one of my go-to fountain pen shops. And I ordered it from them and it came and we're going to unbox it together and check it out and I'm really excited. They did include some accessories with the launch of this pen. They have a set of washi tape and also a set of paper clips with charms. This pen is inspired by red wine the idea of sitting on a warm summer evening with a glass of wine and your journal and your fountain pen and just having a nice relaxing evening. And so the charms and the washi tape are wine inspired. I am actually not a wine drinker. I do not drink wine, but I still think these are super fun accessories and I fell in love with this pen. So I am going to open up the washi tape first before we do anything else. We're gonna check it out. So it came with four different washi tapes. Just going to open them up. If I can find this beginning and show you each one. This one is a beautiful like purple burgundy color. It has metallic gold accents and it says SD. It has a quote. It says the right pen for the way you write. It says cheers. And it has some grapes on it. Then the next one is a more purple version, a little bit lighter in color. This one also has the gold metallics, but it has some like tonal pictures of grapes and rings from a wine glass and a wine bottle on it. The next one is a sort of sage green, and it is very similar to the last one. It has those tonal fruits and wines and rings and then it has the same gold accents and then the last one is white with that same print and the same gold accents super fun washi tape who doesn't love washi tape i am definitely a washi tape addict so we got four rolls of washi tape. I didn't actually know that I was gonna get the accessories with this order, so I was surprised when I opened the box and found them. And here are the paper clips with the charms. This one has grapes, this one has an Estherbrook nib, and then this one says cheers with two wine glasses. And they're nice big gold paper clips with the little charms that hang from them. So those are the accessories I got when I ordered my pen. This is my pen has a beautiful box with the same prints that are on the washi tape and it slides out like this like a little drawer and this card part this cardstock part it comes off this is my pen i'm gonna just take it out it did come with a short international cartridge stick that back in there slide the drawer back in I am <laughs> I am so excited now this pen is in their oversized SD size and I am actually in this video probably not going to ink it up because I'm trying to figure out what ink I want to put in it but I am going to show you some other pens compared to it because I've seen a lot of people say that they didn't want an oversized from Estherbrook because they thought it was too big but based on the measurements it's really not that much different in size than a lot of my favorite pens so I thought I would share size comparisons in this video and then once I figure out what ink I'm going to put in it we'll probably do a separate video where I ink it up and we do a writing sample with this awesome custom ground nib but this is my pen I so hope that the gorgeous sparkle in this pen is picking up 
on the screen and you guys can see it. Look at all that sparkle. It has so many different colors of sparkle. So according to the listing, I'm just gonna read it to you guys. So like I said, this is the fourth installment in their sparkle series, but based on what I've seen, this is the most sparkly of all the pens in that series. But it is a blend of deep burgundy mixed with sparkles of purples, pinks, and whites due to a diamond cast body. It's inspired by lovely warm days where you grab a bottle of red and your trusty fountain pen. Cosmic Wine is the perfect accompaniment for summer. And I can see the shades of purple and pink. There's actually some purple that's almost blue. It has so many sparkles in it and I am absolutely in love. I am so glad I chose this pen as my first ever Esterbrook. It is absolutely gorgeous. So it does have gold detailing. Gold isn't normally my thing. I much prefer silver, but I think in this pen, the gold is absolutely perfect. It has Esterbrook there. Then when we unscrew it, it has the nib there. And you can see the gold ring. It is just so pretty. I have sparkly nails right now. Now everything is sparkly. I am in love. I'm so excited. And then when you unscrew here, it has your converter already in there. It also says Esterbrook on it. And just screw that back on. And then it kind of has like a springy cap. So you kind of push and turn and it closes up. I swear I'm going to sit and just look at all of the sparkles and all of the pretty colors. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. So like I said, I'm not gonna fill it up on this video because I wanted to see it in person and figure out what color I was gonna put in it because I actually thought about putting, these are a little bit wet. I had done some samples. But I had thought about putting, what is this, Dusk? This is Dusk, and these two are wet. These three are all the same ink, but this is from Van Diemen's Night Collection. This is Dusk, and so I thought it might be a good match. And then this is Robert Oster Scarlet, what is it called? Frankly Scarlet. So that is Frankly Scarlet. Like I said, they're still wet. And those both match really well to the colors of this pen, but I don't know if either of those are the ones I want to put in it. I might actually use something that's a little bit more purple. Purple is my favorite color, and there are definitely purple sparkles in here. So I wanna find like the perfect ink for this pen. So we're not going to fill it up, but we are going to do some size comparisons. So I'm gonna grab a couple of pens, a Twisby Eco, a Twisby 580, Bennu, uh, what else do I have close by? Conklin. An Opus, a different Bennu. And then I was thinking, and another Twisby. All right, so this is the SD Oversized. This is a Twisby Eco. This is a Twisby 580. This is a Twisby VAC 700R. This is a Bennu Euphoria. This is a Bennu Talisman. This is a Conklin. Mm, Durograph, I think. Yeah, Cochrane Durograph. And then this is an Opus. I think this is the Picnic. I think. I'll put it right here. I need to double check, but I think it's the Picnic. So I wanted to show you guys against some different pens that people may have in their collection so you guys could see that Capped, it is a little bit larger than most of these except for 
the Bennu Euphoria, which is actually one of my favorite fountain pens. I have a couple of them. And you can see that it is pretty close in size to the Bennu Euphoria. I actually have some Opus pens that are actually larger than this SD Oversize and some that are about the same size, but I pulled this Picnic one, or what I think is Picnic, because I thought it was a good overall size comparison. So with the cap on, it's about the same size as the Euphoria. If you put the Wisby back 700 next to it, you can see they're fairly similar in size. But now we're gonna uncap them. I did not intentionally intend to pick pens that were pink, purples, and burgundies that kind of coordinate. It just kind of happened what I grabbed when I reached. All right, so here is the Esterbrook Oversized. If I could get my Eco, oops, to stand the right way. I need to actually mess with that duragraph because it's got a nib issue. So you can see, let me put this here, maybe it'll hold it. You can see it's really not substantially bigger. It is a little bit bigger. You can see at the grip, it's a little bit bigger, but overall in length and even in its diameter or its thickness, it's not that much bigger than any of these pens. It's about the same in thickness as the VAC 700, and it's actually shorter in length than the Bennu Euphoria. It's closer in length to the Bennu Talisman, but a little bit thicker in the grip section. So although it is an oversized pen, it is not substantially oversized. It's a little bit bigger than some of the pens on the market that people kind of love and use a lot have in their collections, but it's not that much bigger. So I didn't want the term oversized to deter you guys from buying it. Now I am a woman, but I do have larger hands for a girl. So if you have smaller hands, it may not be comfortable in your hand. But for me, it is a really good size and it's also a really nice weight. Now I do not post my pens. If you posted it, obviously it's gonna be a lot longer, but I'm not a posting person. I do sometimes, but generally speaking, I don't. If I'm journaling for a long session, I'll just leave my pen cap sitting. If I just open it to write real quick, I actually just usually keep it in my left hand. So I do not generally post but it will post if you want it to, but that does make it long. I don't think that it's designed to post though. I'm actually not 100% sure, but because it has that sort of springiness inside there, I don't think posting it is ideal. But for me, it is really comfortable unposted. It's just so pretty, all the colors. Oh, so excited. So I wanted to show it to you guys in comparison to some pens that people love so you guys could see that it's really not some giant pen. It's definitely smaller than my Opus 88 Demonstrator. Let me grab that. Ignore how gunky it is. It needs to be cleaned really badly. But it is smaller in diameter than that. Not a lot, but a little bit smaller. And then without the cap on, it is a little bit smaller than that as well. And that is actually probably my biggest fountain pen. And I love this Opus 88 demonstrator. It's kind of like writing with a big chunky crayon. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, I didn't talk to you guys about the nib. So this nib is a journaler nib. It is a custom ground nib and it is a medium stub grind. And the idea behind this nib is to give you a writing experience that is smooth and perfect for everyday writing, but that gives your writing some flair. So without being too big, it's practical for everyday writing and for journaling sessions. So that's why I wanted to get this nib. I will post a link down below to the article that talks about this nib so you guys can check it out in a little bit more detail. But I knew that my very first Estherbrook needed to have this journal or nib on it. I knew it was the nib that I wanted. And so that is the nib that I have ordered on my Cosmic Wine. I am so excited for this pen. That is my unboxing of my Cosmic Wine from Estherbrook with my wonderful accessories that I got that I wasn't even expecting. 
I just wanted to share that with you guys and do a size comparison. Like I said, once I figure out what ink I want to put in this pen, I will pop back on and we'll do a quick video filling this pen and doing a writing sample with the nib so you guys can check it out. But I didn't want to wait to unbox it because I wanted to see my new pen and I was really excited. So that is my Cosmic Wine unboxing. If you have any questions or comments about this pen or anything I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.